Now we're good to go. All right. And ladies and gentlemen, we are live. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Tech Talk. I'm your host, the most brother B, and tonight we're going to be doing a wonderful episode on Samsung Fast Tracks. If you don't know what Samsung Fast track song, stand by. You're going to love tonight's show. Let me give you a picture of what they look like. I want to welcome everybody. Let's go ahead and give YouTube a few minutes to send out alerts. Make sure everybody's tapped in for the evening. I know it's late. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me, and I appreciate that. All right. Let's go ahead and get everything set up. All right. And let's bring in this guy here. Wonderful. All right. There you go. And let's get rid of... Ah, oh, let's download this. Bear with me, gentlemen. Again, welcome to tonight's show. Let's download this and open it up in a different profile. Beautiful. All right. Okay. All right. Tonight. We're gonna be doing Samsung Fast Tracks. All right, but before we get into that, I wanna welcome everybody to tonight's show. Send a special shout out. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. And I appreciate that. Thank y'all um, tuning in to tonight's show. Again, if you deal, if you if you do appliance repair and you, you do refrigerators and you you don't, you know, you, you enter into these customers' homes, it's very recommended that you have fast tracks figured out and you have them mastered. And tonight, we're going to go through a brief, a very in-depth, but a, a brief training on it. So I just want to welcome y'all. This is to put money in your pockets. You know what I'm saying? So if, you, if you're in for a technical night, we're going to have that. Quick news. Let's get some news out of the way. Bear with me. Um, okay, so as y'all know, August 11th through the 14th, Brother Rick and I, we're having our hands-on event. If you want to um, if you want to know where to go to that, let me go ahead and put that in the comment section so you can go sign up. So it's a TMM Academics. I'll put it in the link. Hold on. I'm going to put it in the link. Going over to tmmacademics.com, hands-on training. Uh, I'm sorry, backslash hands-on training. We are doing um refrigerator repair, hands-on, all right? That's August 7th through the 14th. 
Let me go ahead and put this link in the comment section. Boom. All right, make sure you go check that out. Let's bring this back up. All right, and then again, I'd like to welcome y'all to tonight. Oh, oh, let's 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 get some history news out of the way. Oh, also, guys, if you want to um be part of our walkie talkie group, which is steadily growing, it's 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 growing by the day. We got something like 70, 80 members. Um, it's not always active, 70, 80 people on there, but definitely a handful on there day in and probably even now right now i have my alert, alerts turned off because there's so many but just, just guys and guys all over the country you know texting one another live you know hey i'm in the field hey, i have a whirlpool um time not advanced and help me out and you know it's some guys on there that you know help everybody out with um you know tech support live you know and um if you, if you want to be a part of that, uh, please go on over to emmacademics.com and um, enroll in that. It, it's, it's very affordable, you know what I'm saying? And you will help the, the, the channel, you will help the, the stuff that we got going on. All right? So, again, if you want to be a part of our, our walkie-talkie application, peer-to-peer um, -peer group, please go on over to emmacademics.com and you can enroll there. Um... Any other news? Again, we're doing our uh, ride alongs. So um, if you want to get hands on, like one on one interaction with me and pick in my brain and see me in the field and see how I tackle these things and, and just get like a more, you know, intimate approach or an appliance repair directly from my tutelage, please uh, email me. All right, let me put that in the um, email. I'd like to take this um, opportunity and send a special shout out to my brother, Rick Zilka, the MVP of TMM Appliance Network. I just want to let you know, bro, I'm, I'm standing in solidarity with you and, and everything that we got. Thank you for um, believing in this project. Thank you for, for having my back. You know, thank you for being patient with me. But um, everything that we got is finally coming into fruition and Want to send a special shout out to my bro Rick. All right, let's get into some industry news. Let's move on now. All right, bear with me. Oh, also, one final thing please come down August 15th. It is for free. We have an off hands uh, a meet and greet. Um, we, if you want to meet us in real life, it's your opportunity to come, you know, shake hands, take pictures, um, you know, have you know, something to. And, you know, whatever, whatever your, your, your cup of tea is, we're going to be out there. Uh, please uh, look out for that August 15th. We look forward to having y'all. All right, let's get into some industry news. Okay. In tonight's episode of industry news, an article that um, I came across that I found interesting was appliance repair technicians needed career opportunities. So, this came across uh, May 22nd. Let me go ahead and give you guys the full screen on this. All right, so this, this is something that came across my screen that I found interesting. So I don't know where uh, uh, this city is, but you are from this uh, city of Benslam, PA. So wherever Benslam, Salem, Pennsylvania is. They are, uh, and, and this, these guys here, Quaker uh, City Appliance Services, they're looking for technicians, okay? Now, why I gave these guys a special shout out was because these guys really look like they have their stuff together. So let's read about them. They're an appliance, they're, they're a three generation Whirlpool factory. Whirlpool Factory Authorized Service Company. Let's let's stop and think about that in itself. Let, let, let's, let's stop and think about that. These guys are Whirlpool Authorized. 
You know how hard it is to get the Whirlpool contract? To get Whirlpool? In my area, it's only one guy that got it, Flamingo. And he got Georgia, Florida, and I think he got one more. I think he got one more sit, one more state, that dude. So the day and, and when I was in the West Coast and I tried to sign up with Whirlpool, that somebody else had it on lock. So the fact that these guys are, are Whirlpool uh, factory authorized, you're gonna get a lot of um, hands-on um, training, but good tech support too. Direct access to Whirlpool exclusive service matters. So this, this, this so far, you know, I'm not advocating you to become a technician, but if you don't want to be the owner and deal with all these headaches, and you just want to come home and chill in a nice nine to five, this, you know, this is something you may want to look into. Let's continue to read about these guys. All right. So they repair washers, dryers, dishwashers, refrigerators, freezers, ovens, cooktop ranges, microwaves, etc. Now listen to this. These guys are also willing to train mechanically inclined technicians. We supply truck parts and cell phone. Great salary, vacation, health, and retirement benefits. Factory authorized for Whirlpool, Maytag, Gen Air, and many more. Service in Philadelphia, Bucks, Mont, Delaware, and New Jersey. Let's go ahead and get their their uh, email. And if you're interested in sign, if you're in this uh, particular neck of the woods, and this is something you want to do to uh, uh, mess with, go ahead and email these guys over here. Tell them that you saw them on Brother B's channel. All right. Now, let's continue to move on to tonight's show. Bear with me. How's everybody doing this evening? We doing good? We doing good? Who wants to talk about refrigerators and fast tracks and Samsungs? Let's go ahead, though. Before we get into that, let's move into our next section of the night, Tool Talk. Ladies and gentlemen, before I move on to Tool Talk, please take this time out. And if you appreciate authentic, Real appliance repair um, conversation and dialogue. Please go ahead and hit this uh, 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 subscribe button. Go ahead and hit the like button. And if you really want to support us and you really like what we got going on, again, please go on over to tmmacademics.com. Moving forward with tonight's uh, tool talk, tool of the week, I want to show you guys the MVP tool that you got to have. Now, listen. In, in, in appliance repair, y'all know that we, we, we use one quarter and five sixteenths for everything. But you know what I like about this particular guy here? Let me show you right here. This is what I like about this guy here. And, I, and, and if you have one, cool. But if you don't have one, definitely check this out. So right now I got it at five sixteenths. So if I want, I'll just flip it. Now it turns into a one quarter. Now, why I like this particular thing so much is because, look, sometimes you don't want to go into a customer house with a gang of sockets, boxes, and drill bit kits. Right here. And with this, a Phillips, just in case. But more than likely, with this Phillips, this 516 and this one quarter, you're going to be good to go. So, I couldn't find the DeWalt version of it, but I brought you guys something else instead. Now, this guy here, I also recommend this one as opposed to the little one I have here. And here's why. Sometimes this isn't long enough. And, yeah, you can, you know, slap it into to, and, and one, one of these adapters. But, now you, look, I'm fighting trying to pull this out. Get, get yourself one of the long ones. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'll I choose the Texas model on this. It's better to go bigger. So definitely check out one of these. Uh, uh, reversible, one quarter, five, six teams. Uh, oh, and they're magnetic. Make sure that they're magnetic. Let me make sure this one is magnetic. Because the, the one I have is from the wall. This one here on the wall, but again, I couldn't find the link for it. I got it at Home Depot, but I couldn't find it on Amazon. 
This was the closest I was able to find. This guy here, let me show you. Yeah, right here. Uh, but let me make sure that this one is magnetic because the one I have, the, the walk definitely a magnetic. You got to need that. All right, let me see. Uh, let me make sure it's magnetic. Oh, yeah, strong magnet. There you go. Right here. All right, that's all we need. Strong magnet. So, yeah, if you want the... The the link for that definitely. Uh, let me go ahead and put that in the uh in the comment section. All right, definitely must have to put in your van. All right. Boom boom. Paste and boom. All right. We doing good. We doing good. We doing good. All right. Cool. So. Now that we got all that out the way, again, let's move on to tonight's episode. Samsung Fast Tracks. Let me let me give you guys a, a, a speech on why I chose why I chose this for tonight. Why I chose um I chose I chose this this set uh, this subject for multiple reasons and here here's one of them. Um you know I get I get a lot of calls. I get a lot of calls. And shout out to everybody that calls me. I don't be on here like, oh this person called me that but I don't do that. The the persons who call me, y'all know I ain't lying. Y'all call me. And I and I love y'all, but I, I find myself when I offer help, I find myself having to correct like people's troubleshooting approach. Because I'll get I'll get a, a call. Hey, brother B, I got a whirlpool. It's icing up in the freezer. What you think? You gotta send me the model, you gotta send me the schematics. We gotta look at this thing. What kind of what kind of refrigerator is this? Hmm? Is this an analog timer based? Is this have a board? Is this an ADC? What kind of defrost system are we looking at? It, it, or are we even talking about a defrost to begin with? Just because you see frozen ice in the back, don't mean that you have defrost. You can have a leak. It, what kind of ice is it? Is it rum ice? Is it solid ice? Is it from the drain? We don't know. So, you know, it's so much things going on to these calls. Like, when people ask me for help, I I, 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 I say to myself, like, I wonder if they took the time out to, like, even go through, like, the documentation and, and try to at least, you know, figure this out. So, you know... They have a saying that says, if you give a guy fish, you know, you're going to feed him for one day. But if 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 you teach the man how to fish, you're going to feed him forever. And that's what we're going to do tonight. All right. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and knock out some of these comments. Again, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe. If technical is your thing, you came to the right place. All right. Let's go ahead and read some of these things. All right. Richard Zilka. The big homie of the group. Okay, Tony, what's good, Tony? How you doing, bro? Warren Davis. Walkie talkie. Warren, you already know. You are you are active member. I, I like to thank you for participating in our group, adding value and content to it. Because guess what, guys? When people come on and they ask for help, it helps everybody. Because multiple people chime in, get advice. That. And even you learn things, oh, you know, I didn't even know that. So, again, if you want to be a part of that walkie-talkie group, that peer-to-peer -peer text uh, group, please go on over to tmmacademics.com. What's good, Rich? Rich is driving. Warren says, got to support you. You was one of the reasons I chose appliance repair for your videos. Man, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Well, hopefully, you come tap on August 15th, man. 
Maurice Johnson says, is this in San Diego? Nah, brother, this is in uh, Hollywood, Florida. All right, that's South Florida, right in between Miami and Fort Lauderdale. All right, what's good with Charged Up? Budget Boost says, heads up, Ashorian is booming. Budget Boost, can you please email me? Let me go ahead and put my email right there. Can you please email me the contact to Ashoria? I, I lost it. I had it from ASCI, but I lost it. That would mean the world to me. Thank you, uh, brother. I appreciate that. Again, that's from, shout out to brother Budget Boost. All right. Maurice Johnson. There you go. Greg B, good. What's good, bro? Dedro, what's up? Budget Boost, yeah, he's talking about let's drop screws. Again, that's our two talk tonight. That's that reversible five six teams, one quarter socket. Beautiful. See, it detaches. Oh, I love this thing. Again, y'all, get y'all those one of these, all right? Aaron, Aaron M., what's good, man? Uh, Aaron says, what's your opinion of Epic? I'm, I'm unfamiliar with that, bro. Please, if somebody knows, um, help the brother out. I don't, I don't know what that is. All right. 27th hour with sign on bonus. Yeah, budget, please pass me that, man. That, that'll help me. All right, so budget. Back to the, yeah, that's tap in for tonight's show. Y'all going to love it. Okay. Well, I don't turn them away, but Samsung sucks. Hopefully tonight, Warren, you're going to change your mind on that. What's good, Nasir? Greg B says, uh, I got a Samsung tomorrow. He's beeping like the door is open, but the lights are going off. Customer said the dad removed the doors to bring in the house, and now they have this problem. Check, check the connections at the top by the hinges. More than likely, he didn't put the um, Molexes together. He probably forgot to. So check check the hinges at the top. Remove the plastics. And also your re-switches too. But I doubt that he, he got involved with that. But you never know with these customers. All right. Uh, uh, Tedrick says water on the bottom. Chris would draw. Yeah, Tedrick, we know what that is, man. Go ahead and look at that uh, Deforce drain kit. Also look at that there. Mister, that's a nice pain. Uh, but you know, I don't, I'm, I'm, who am I? All right, y'all, let's get into tonight's show. All right. Guys, again, let's talk about the Samsung Fast Tracks, all right? What, what makes these so important? What, 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 what are they? What do they do? What do they reveal? You know, I, I, we only got about 45 minutes, but I'm going to do my best to, come to you know, uh, uh, summarize this. But let's start over here at the top left of the screen okay in this particular fast track uh the models that are covered are romeo foxtrot 267 alpha echo bravo papa included to all the ones uh below french door refrigeration okay all right now uh important city notice you know they're gonna talk stuff about liability you know protect tya uh, jargon. Please read it though. It's good to know. All right. All right. Now, let's let's get into this first portion here. This this thing here called self diagnosis. All right. What, what what's so important about that? What what makes that self diagnosis so important? That that's your best friend, man. That's your best friend. When you get into the house and the customer wants to open up the doors and start touching and showing you. Whoa, whoa, it's okay. We don't need to get there yet. Can I, can, l l just tell me what's going on, and I'll, I'll open it and take temperature readings. I'll put it in diagnostic mode, but let's keep the temperatures where they are. Let's keep the doors closed respectfully. You know, humbly you this. Because, you know, they don't want to open up the door. You know, all your cold air. It's all over the place. But we're going to keep the doors closed. And you're going to listen to the customer. Oh, you know, this Samsung... The problem they got, it, it, it make noise at night, and you know, I got water all under the crispers, 
And I notice when I open the puss, the, the the noise goes away. Like, you know, she want to show you. Yeah, she want to show you, but don't, don't. For now, keep the doors closed. After you take in all that information, look at the LCD. When I refer to the LCD, what am I referring to? I'm referring to this right here. This guy over here. Right here. That look, look, look for error codes. Look, look for, look for, look for, um, you want to look for things like 5E. 22 R stuff like that. You know, you, you, you wanna you wanna see that is this machine telling me something? Understand? So so far, without doing anything, the lady's giving the lady or the guy's giving me an explanation. The user interface is giving me error codes. I'm collecting information on this on this refrigerator. I didn't just show up willy nilly, opening up doors, putting my hands, trying to. Nah, we don't. We don't operate like that. I'm a professional, don't. At least how I was taught. So now let's move on to this quote unquote self diagnosis and see what it's about. But this self diagnosis is gonna do this. Oh, by the way, to enter it into self diagnosis, one must press both buttons simultaneously. Energy saver and alarm highlighted by the two uh, brown fingers. This button here by my mouse, your energy saver. This other one here. What we're going to do is to enter into the self uh, diagnosis, we're going to hold the 8 to 12 seconds. 8 to 12 seconds. Two fingers, simultaneous. Let me see how I could, uh, you gotta remember the two simultaneous. Hold them, hold them, hold them, hold them. Go here, ding, ding. You'll see the LEDs light up. You'll know when you're in diagnostic mode, all right? So what, 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 what is that accomplishing? Brother B, yeah, that all sounds good. You know, you, you got me doing magic tricks on the, on the UI. The interface, but what, what, what is that helping me with? All right. Well, look, what this is going to do is this is going to read fault codes. Okay. As you see here, this is going to read fault codes. Okay. So, what are fault codes? What do fault codes look like? All right. Fault codes look something like this. You'll see, like, in the, in, the fridge, in the fridge side of the LED, you'll see maybe one, one uh, tick. And in that case, that will represent ice, make, uh, ice maker sensor error. You know, so these, these little uh, ticks and stuff, and, and yours may be different. You, you may have numbers like 22E, uh, E01, whatever. whatever. Whatever the case may be, you, you may have E01. You know, I'm just saying for this one, you know, the, the eight, the, the on the display, one tick means something. And you have to look at that tick and, and, and match it to, you know, uh, error faultless and, and see what's the error code and follow the appropriate suggestions that the manufacturer has you do, you know, to troubleshoot that. All right, so again, we have now two things going in our favor. The customer told us something, and we entered the refrigerator into diagnostic modes. The customer is watching me at this point. She's seeing I, she, or she, she or he. See, I have control of the situation. I'm, I'm doing my diagnostics. I got my, my tablet pulled up. It's on the table. If, if I think I have any any type of defrost, I'm already steaming up my water. My steam is getting heat. But the customer seeing this song and dance, this methodical uh, movement, 
in addition to soft skill, oh, how y'all doing? La, la, la. Stuff that I mentioned in, in, in one of previous videos, the art of seduction, the charm. Soft skills is a thing. You no, know? so you're doing the, the, the self diagnostics, you retrieving error codes, got your laptop out, listening to the customer. By now, you should have some confidence as to, like, okay, I know what I'm signing up for. I'm going to get an error code, you know? But maybe you don't. Let's continue. Let's see what else this, this offers us. If you're liking tonight's show, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. YouTube's premium. We are the premium. Just let that be known. Appliance Repair Network. Please hit the like button. Um, Let's go on over to this. All right. Let's go to this. All right. So, again, now, be clear about something, okay? Um, read the fine print. This will also cancel the fault mode created by the self-diagnosing at the power up. All right. Now, that's one, one, one test. Self-diagnosis. Let's read another test. There's a few here we're gonna talk about. We're not gonna get into everything, but let's talk about another test. This one is one of my favorites. Force mode. I love force mode. You know why I love force mode? You know why I love force mode? Because I control what loads I want to turn on and off. For example, I have a fan that I feel is in four or, or in question, a compressor. You know, some of these Samsungs, these, these, refri these Samsung, you plug them in, it take five, ten minutes for the compressor to get going. <laughs> Apologies for the for the back noise, Machiavelli. Again, some of these ref Samsung refrigerators take a while for these um, to turn on, these, these compressors to turn on. So even defrost, even defrost. You know, I like this because I could turn on. You know, I, I, whatever my my question is, if I have a bad fan or whatever, whatever I'm in doubt. What I like about force mode is that force mode is going to activate my load. So let's talk about force mode and, and, what's, and how do we get to that. All right. So to get some force mode, what we're going to do is we're going to press both buttons, energy saver and fridge, represented by the white fingers, located over here where my mouse is and located down here. All right. Now let me make sure. I did that right. No, no, no. I think I did that right. Apologies. Now, hold on. Energy saver and fridge. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I did it right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There goes the word fridge over here. So that's why you're going to see this uh, hand. And then here goes energy saver. All right. Cool. So, again, press both uh, energy saver and fridge, right? Simultaneously. All right. Let, let me, let me, let me. Let me be uh let me be very clear on something. These sands are finicky, finicky, man. So if 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 you put your let let's let's my hands, palms present my my thumbs, but y'all can see then rather see my thumbs. I'm gonna use my palms, okay? You can't do this. You can't do one, two. That ain't gonna work. You can't do one, two. Simultaneously, you can't do all right. So, again, to get into the force mode, all right, simultaneously, both energy saver and fridge. Okay, now, what is this force mode? What's so great about it, brother? B? You haven't sold me yet, you're talking a lot of junk, but I don't hear anything. Well, when you put it in forced uh mode. Now, by pressing, bear with me, guys. There's a lag on my computer. Okay, by pressing the freezer button one time, okay, 
again, after you have it in the first mode, okay, by pressing, so you did the, you did the force, so it's in the force, and I waited 8 to 12 seconds, it's in force. Now, by pressing freezer, this is what is going to take place, and this is why I like force mode. What's going to take place is a couple things. The compressor is going to run, right, at high speed. Right. What it's going to do is force the compressor to run at high speed. Right. And when they say high speed, they need 3600 RPM. You'll know that you're in this mode because your, L -E uh, your LCD, your user interface, is going to have a FF1, which is basically, uh, you know, your, your tests. It, it just is confirming that your uh, compressor is at high speed and it's doing 3,600. What Samsung's also telling us is that we can measure the fan and compressor voltages at the main PCB. Think about this. We put it in force mode, right? And, and it's in that, that first test where the compressor is at maximum speed and the fan is running. They said go to the board to measure output voltage. That test alone is going to reveal to us if our board is good or if our, you know, or, 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 or maybe we have a bad wiring on this. But at all costs, by entering into this mode, these components, fan, compressor, they're going to engage. So if you get a customer, I don't need a fan. I don't need a compressor. Brother B, I turned it on. The compressor won't kick on. There's a way to do this. Force, force mode. All fans and compressors going to kick on. Now we're going to go to the back of the board. And we're going to put in our voltmeter leads. And again, go through my previous videos. In one of my episodes of talk, I speak about these little thin leads that you put them into the um, Molex and what it does because your regular leads they're too thick they got to be these little skinny ones and that's where we're going to make our measurements now let's let's go to the board let's go to the board tell them all right so again measure fan and compressor voltage at the main pcb right Bear with me, guys. Let me find the, uh, okay, here we go. Okay. Okay. And CN76 cluster, connectors, two and one, three and one, four and one, five and one, Indicating that from the board, we should be getting, oh, B, OK, gray, black to gray, yellow to gray, orange to gray. Uh, that S blue, I don't have the legend in front of me. But normally, there's a legend on here. But it'll tell you, like, S blue. More than likely, silver blue to gray. VEC sent to, uh, and during this test, Let's talk about that test. We go to the board. We put our leads. We're getting that kind of output voltage. Output voltage. At that point, if, if we have a doubt that our fan is our problem, our defrost heater, whatever component, if we have a problem that the component is, 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 is at fault, we can enter into force. And at the board, we can check the output voltage and make sure that the board is doing its job delivering that voltage to the component. Now, you know how you sometimes be like, damn, I wonder if it's the board. I wonder if it's the fan. I don't know which one it is. Go ahead. Go ahead and invest in both. That's shot work. I don't operate like that. I'm teaching you how to do it the right way. You can measure the output voltage from that board. So that's why I like the force mode, all right? And again, let's 
back to the um beginning here of the fast track. Again, y'all, if you like it tonight's show, please go on and hit the like button, subscribe, share. All right, let me go ahead and flip to bear with me. Okay, what else is this, is this fast track? What kind of other information is this fast track telling us? Again, while it, it's, good, it's good to go ahead and cycle through all of these different uh, speeds, and you do that by pressing freezer, and you and you want to wait five seconds. Read this this little cliff note here. You want to read five seconds between pushes. So like, if you're doing like, if you want to check the compressor in the first test, wait. Wait five seconds, and you know that'll bring it at thirty six hundred. Then press it again. That'll bring it down to about twenty four fifty. But while it's doing that, listen to your compressor. Listen to the piston. Does it sound all beat up? Is it is it is it is it banging up against the cylinder head? You know, is it, how does it sound? You know, take an amp reading on it. You know, you, if you have seal system dial, you can do a lot with this test. All right, let's continue talk about some more tests that this could do okay now this is this is a this is a this sales mode let's talk about this sales mode here i've gotten this call and this call here this sales mode you'll get you'll get a call you'll get this call is is kind of like how do i say this it's kind of like a tease because like you'll get the call, they'll say like, "Hey, look, I got this Samsung French. Well, it's not cooling. It's not doing anything. Everything is dead." And in your mind, you're like, "Oh man, that may be the board." You know, all the all the things, all the lights going off in your head. What could be a problem with this? No cool, dead Samsung. But the lady says she fails. He or she fails to mention that on the display. And what do I say on the display? Because again. The display will show OF, right? So you'll get the call, and you'll be like, "Oh, that's for what's the model?" Okay, you're doing your prepayment and all that, and they forgot to mention it's the OF, and you get there, and you didn't even take your time to read this fast track. You had no idea that this fast track that was called a sales mode which will result to no compressor operation. Here you come, super tech. Opening up the doors, checking this, checking that, scratching your head, going on your phone, looking at YouTube. Samsung fast traction. You see that OF? You know how to, let's, let's talk about that OF and let's talk about how to get rid of it. So, if we ever get into that OF, what it what it what it, it indicates is that we have what's called a sales mode, okay? And we have to get this refrigerator out of the sales mode. So to get this refrigerator out of the sales mode, we gotta do it. we gotta press energy saver and freezer temp buttons. All right, energy saver and freezer temp buttons. That's gonna be this guy up here and the guy directly below it. The two buttons on the left side at the top. Now, guess what? You're gonna do that. And for about six to 12 seconds, that compressor is gonna come on. And you know, you did your due diligence, you bought the board, you came with the mist. You know, you feel like everything has a good tech board. And pat yourself on the back. I laugh because it's happened to me. But that's all it was, you know? And you're like, damn, that's it. Service call, see you later. But the good news is, it's the easiest service call in the world. I have seen customers, though, get upset with this service call because they'll be like, oh, it's so easy, but blah, blah, blah. Well, why you didn't do it? 
You want me to play a game here and open up doors and act like I'm looking for a problem or just get straight to the rules and tell you what happened? So it's cool. So again, these these these, these fast tracks definitely take your time out and familiarize yourself with them, all right? All right. Let's talk about some other tests tonight. Some other uh 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 things about these uh Okay, okay, very important. I mean, if you're a seal guy, this is for you. Uh, we got 134 in refrigerant, 5.64 ounces. So, and if you're gonna me measure in a charge, there you go, it's clear as day 5.64 to fill that bad boy up. Condenser fan delay function, ambient sensor. Let's talk about, let, let, let me give you a little cliff note real quick about that. That ambient sensor, I'm going to open up the floor, right, for like 10, 15 seconds. Let's say 26 people are viewing. I'm going to do a little pop quiz. That ambient sensor on a Samsung, would anybody like to take a try and, and take a stab and say what that is or where can that sensor be located? I'm, I'm all this. i wait a couple seconds. Okay, more than likely that sensor is gonna be located up in the hinge, up in the up in the uh, uh, top by the hinges where the where the doors are. Remove the covers and and some Samsung they'll they'll store them up there. You know what I'm saying? So if you're looking for that ambient sensor, that's what it's gonna be at. And what's important about that ambient sensor is that that ambient sensor has to do with the condenser fan. Okay, so below sixty degrees. Fahrenheit condenser fan is off, regardless of the compressor operation. All right. Now, again, you don't got no fast track knowledge. You don't got no fast track experience. You don't know that if it's less than 60 degrees, that condenser fan ain't going to kick on. Get back there, and just from habit of working, you don't see the condenser fan working. You're like, oh, that condenser fan ain't working, and the board ain't putting out voltage. I'm going to change the board. That's my problem. And you're going to change the board. The fan still ain't kick on. Damn, it was the fan. Man, I'll be right back. Go get the fan. Put the fan in. Now the fan won't work. And you like, damn. Oh, wow. It's clear as day. Again. That condenser fan ain't gonna kick on below 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Know what I'm saying? All right. So let's talk about some other things important with these fast tracks and what they reveal. Okay, component value chart. Very important, very important stuff. Very important stuff. Freezer, freezer defrost heater. Fridge defrost heater. It's giving you resistance, wattage, voltage. Just using this law. You get you a clamp meter, right? And you go to the back of that board. When the wires is hanging and stuff, you get your clamp meter. And, and, and you, know the, you know the resistance. What's the resistance? Let's pick something. Freezer defrost heater. 60 ohms. 120. Does somebody like to use Ohm's law and tell me? What the current would be on that? What's the current? What, what using Ohm's law? What, what would the current be on that freezer defrost heater? Sixty and one twenty. Come on, I, I don't see nothing in the comments. Is this? Is this is it, what's up? August 11th through 14th, y'all. Come tap in. Come tap in. Come tap in. We got we got one contester now here. Okay. Know what I'm saying. Fast tracks. 
fast tracks. You go to that board, you remove that cover, you get your clamp meter, you go to your lows, clamp, put your clamp meter on there. So, so you know, you, you got an open circuit and it tell you the output voltage from the board. What's the output voltage on the board on that freezer D4C meter? 120. Let's look for that freezer D4C meter. Let's look for it on this schematic. Bear with me. Freezer D4C meter. Where will we find that at? Fill tube heater, duck heater, ice maker heater, French display heater, and another dummy muscle. Ice maker, let me zoom out a little bit. Uh, let's look for that heater. Let's look for that heater. Where you at? Where you at? Bear with me now. Let me flip this one. Okay, there's my compressor bondings. Um, bear with me, y'all. Let me find this here. I'm just gonna get this this here, this this heater here. At the CN71. Uh Pin nine. This cop this this here. Man, I wish they would give me a reference point. Oh, here you go. Perfect. Bear with me, y'all. Let's look at this schematic. Jackpot. All right. D force heater. I will go to CN70. Over here and then let's go to pin five no 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 i'm sorry which one we said okay d4 heater that's uh f d e f okay r d e f is the uh refrigerator one but f d e f is the freezer one so what we're going to do is we're going to measure from uh cn70 pin seven to CN71, which is a different uh, pin cluster, but we're gonna go to that neutral, which is uh, pin nine, orange. And we're gonna measure 120. We're gonna measure 120. What's that telling us? Our boy. And the thing is, th th this, this method of thinking is universal to everything. Because Whirlpool got four small um four modes. You know what I'm saying? I know fidget they got them like a lot of a lot of manufacturers got them. and you know what I'm saying, put put your units in four modes. Then go to your schematics, what circuit you looking for, and check at the board output voltage. In our case, we're looking for 120. All right. Let's read some comments real quick. We got like seven minutes left. We may not finish this um fast track. It's it's, it's still a lot of pages. And I don't know if y'all like this content. Maybe you know I'm experiment. This is an experiment um one tonight. All right. If y'all like stuff like this, we'll do more of these. All right. But there goes uh okay, let's get back to the um fast track and we'll read some comments. We'll highlight one or two more things with this fast track because the you're going on the hour and then we'll come back to it at a different day. Okay, let's look at this sealed system here. Again, so this component value chart, very important, very necessary. Let's talk about the seal system. Again, we got your compressor coming out of the compressor, going to your condenser, going to your hot pipe, Yoder loop, coming out of that going to your filter jar, going to your capillary, entering into your evaporator, ref refrigerator, evaporator, that is, okay, this is a dual, this is a dual, 
Okay, so it's coming out of the uh, refrigerator, evaporator, uh, exiting into the freezer, evaporator, to then come home to the compressor. So, I don't, I don't have calls like this. Hold on, let me show my. Now this is a dual system, dual evap. This is dual evap, dual evap, and I don't have calls like this, brother. B. I can't find the damn one. Looks all. I had those calls. I can't find the damn one. You know what I'm saying? It's a dual evaporator. And that comes from failure to even look at the, the, the fast track. And if what I said went over your head, then it's, 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 it's even more deeper than that. Not to shame one, but like, to like show where you at. And I'm not even at the pinnacle because there's dudes that smoke me. Poof. My brother Rick poof, smokes me. Uh, you know, my, 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 my mentor, Durham, poof, smokes me. This guy's that smoke me on this kind of stuff. I'm just a dummy's version. But, you know, these fast tracks tell, man. Me and going to be the sharp knife in the, the tool because I'm definitely not. I was on myself with, with, with knowledge. And I know how things work. And yeah, you you know, you, you could go in there and be the best business owner and the best well dressed and you know, have the, the, the most beautiful car and the truck and you know, you could play the part and talk the part and that's all cool. But guess what? You're doing that 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 diagnostic, that lady's looking at you, and that husband's looking at you, and put your back down. You don't know what you're doing. And they start asking you, you okay? How long have you been doing this? You work for Samsung? Are you factory authorized? Even if you repair that thing, when you're done, you know what they're going to do? They're going to look for any little thing to try to hit you in the head. Oh, I know. It's happened to me. I don't get those calls no more. You know why? Because when it's, when it's me, I come with my tablet and I... I Talk the talk, but not that I'm the sharpest knife in the back. It's that I read the fast track. If the fast track says it, I just spit what the fast track says. It shows knowledge of the unit. It shows it shows professionalism. It shows command of 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 the, of the situation. You know what I'm saying? So I think I'm a, I'm gonna end tonight. You know what I'm saying? I could go in because we didn't even talk about the thermistor chart value, none of that. But th th this 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 was tonight like a little like, oh, we didn't talk about the fans. Yeah, that's, we didn't talk about the ice makers. Yeah, we, we I mean, I don't know. Yeah, if I get enough likes, I, 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 I'll do a part two of this. You know what I'm saying? I'm always trying to keep the content fresh on here. I don't try to bore out with the same thing day in and day out, you know? So with all that said, let's go ahead and read on some um, some of these comments. Again, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. Let's go ahead and read some comments. If if, if I was digging tonight's show, um, please. Again, it, it, and 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 if what I was saying tonight was like completely over your head, again, this is the time to, to take advantage of this. Let tonight be like a. a, a reality check you know this is what separates the boys from the men this kind of stuff it's easy to get up here and talk without for real for real you just gotta have a, a one drop of charisma you'll make it on here it's somebody that will believe in you you find people that will buy a Brooklyn bridge in california They're, that's real people will do that but when you take time you, you really invest in it Knowledge, you become a better technician, make more money, you become faster in your diagnostics. So if you want this kind of training and, and you want to get real nice, please come on down to our, our hands-on event and learn how to dissemble these things. If you're going to screw up, screw up in our presence, me and Peggy, we, we better us than, than the customer. Let's go ahead and read some um, some of these comments and we're going to get out of here. I hope y'all like tonight's show, y'all. Yeah. All right, uh, special shout out to my boy LeBron. Warren Davis, he says Samsung sucks. I hope that tonight I change your mind, man. 
Greg, I hope you, you enjoyed tonight. I, I, I think I read one of these. Hold on. Okay, Cheney okay, saying, oh, check the minutes. I couldn't agree more. Magic, what's the vibes, man? What's good, my guy? How you been, man? Magic, come tap in, man. August um, 15th, man. Jason, what's good, Jason? Ray Ray, room temp. Yeah, we were talking about ambient. That's right. Good job, Ray Ray. Uh, Tedrick Nyack on the board. Thanks for tapping in, Tedrick. Uh, JD Ram. What's good, homie? How you, man? All right, my boy JD. Uh, charged up. Stop talking about me, man. I ain't talking about nobody, man. I, I I'm, I'm only saying this in general, man. So if I came across, I want to be the first to apologize. No, no subliminals, no, no. Just trying to give some game, you know. Like I said, you, I could tell you the answer, but I'm not helping you. I'm trying to show you how to fish so that you don't, you don't have to use me no more. Anybody else, you could reach behind and help somebody else. So. I ain't talking about you, Charles, though. Shout out to Kadeem. Thanks for tapping in. Marlies. What's up, Marlies? Okay, shout out to Marlies, man. Uh, Samson is the easiest appliance to work on. This form is a great to educate the new wave of technicians. Thank you, thank you, man. I do my best, man. Kadeem, where do you find that literature? Uh... I, I, I strongly recommend you all to applyontology.org. Uh, that's Matthew Samurai, Scott Brown. He, he runs a phenomenal uh, thing going on over there. You can also try manual libs. Um, and if you enroll with Samson and you become one of their factory authorized technicians, they too will give you this literature, all right? Oh, excuse me, I'll pardon you. Um, um, Magic was good. Joe, he was good. All right. I think, I think I'm gonna read it. All right, let me see. Anybody that okay, Ed, Ed, hey, what's good, Ed? I think I said to everybody. Kermit, what's good, Kermit? Ray Ray. All right. All right I think I tapped in with everybody, man. Well, yeah, I have a Samsung fast tracks again, guys. Uh take this opportunity, man, to, to, to acclimate yourself with these uh Samsung fast tracks. And don't leave no stone on turn. It's four pages, so they pack in a lot in those four pages, and those stone should be unturned. Any little indication or, or gem or little trick is a is a tool in your tool belt. Master it, learn it, and, and it just adds to your repertoire, to your professionalism, and um, you know, it just makes you a better tech. Well, guys, if y'all enjoying tonight's show. One more time, please uh, hit the uh, like button. If y'all want to send a special uh, uh, donation to keep Brother Beast Cup uh, that it runs over, please go ahead and send uh, something to dollar, uh, hash, dollar sign TMN CEO 01, and I'll definitely give you a special shout out on here. And uh, there y'all have it, ladies and gentlemen. YouTube's premiere Off the Clock Appliance Repair Talk for Off the Clock Appliance Repair Tech. I'm your host with the most, Brother B. Please come down August 11th to August 14th. Go over to tmmacademics.com backslash hands-on training. Stay tuned. Um, photos, um, videos of the new facility. Everything is coming together beautiful. We want to show you how to finish product. Not the dirt, but it's coming. Can't wait to upload it and show y'all what we got. God bless. Y'all enjoy y'all night. Love, peace, and harmony. You can be anywhere in the world. Y'all here with me, and I'm here with y'all. I love y'all. Y'all be safe, man. Enjoy y'all night. God bless.